Hey guys, we're on location today at Five Churches Brewery in New Britain, Connecticut. I'm here to talk about two of my favorite things, craft beer and air compressors. I want to start to bring into light to when you're opening up your own craft brewery or deciding to bring it up, what type of compressed air is you're going to need for your facility to run all your different items in there. What we first have to look at is what is actually run by compressed air in your craft brewery. We start out of the gate with the brew house itself, which is, has a lot of pneumatic controls, control devices to be able to bring the different hops and barleys in and the water in. That's the big part of it. The second part is after we do that and we brew the beer, we gotta do something with it. Most people put it into a keg. These keg washers are the biggest thing. We have to sterilize those kegs, make sure everything is good. The other thing that we look at is if we're gonna do any types of canning or bottling, which is another big air user to make, make sure that we get it right. So on the average, what we've been doing on a lot of craft breweries that have been starting up with, with one brew house with a keg washer and a canning line, we're at about a 15 horsepower compressor. So on the average, they're running about 25 to 30 CFM of air. And we want to know, we, we size them up a little bit higher to go to a 15 horsepower. It probably gives us about 50 CFM. But we also talk to them about like, look, if we're going to go to that next step, we have to bring in another system to be able to support it. But for right now, it's perfectly sized for what we need. What we have to start to think of when we are selecting the proper air compressor, size aside, is the type of quality of air that you want. I think optimally it would be good to go to an oil free style unit, so you really got no chance of any contaminants going in at all, but we also have the ability to do a lot of filtration to really help that. So after we've selected what type of compressor that we want to go with, we know what our CFM totals are, we know what our pressure requirements are. We start to look at a couple other things. How much space do we have? What square footage? Is noise an issue? Is it, can it be loud? Can it be quiet? Do we have adequate room to work on the unit? The last bigger part is what voltage do we have? We start to drill down into those things and we start to answer these series of questions. It really paints the picture at the end of it of what product that we're gonna select. So a quick tip on what type of piping to select. You know, when you're in these types of environments, it's a wet, moist environment back there when you're brewing after cleaning. You want to stay away from anything that could oxidize or rust or rot out. You also have a lot of heat from the steam, so you want to stay out of, away from anything that could break, your PVCs that could shear or shatter. You know, we recommend going with an AirNet piping, which is an aluminum pipe that's powder coated and it has a plastic bodied fitting that goes along with it. It can withstand to all the different temperatures that go on, all the different environments. They sell in a kit form of how many different applications you need and different fittings. It comes, shows you how to cut it, put it up on the wall, saves yourself a lot of money there, but you're getting the best quality product.